23rd of December. So that's the last dive for me for 2021. Yeah, 2021, big year of diving for me. So I had two trips away. I did a trip to Caramine and a trip up to Townsville for the North Queensland Blue Water Invitational. So what else has happened this year? Um, I've moved house. I've somehow ended up as president of the Mackay Down Under Skin Divers, our local spear fishing club. I took out the 2020-2021 um, running comp, which is just, our, just a little comp that we run um, within the club. Which is pretty cool. Obviously, the Blue Water Invitational that was a that was a big one for me. Having not done much, just dedicated blue water diving. I've done a little bit of blue water, but not proper blue water with you know like with the team of guys, flashes, burly, and all the rest. I guess we'll use that as a segue into this next video. So this next video is going to be all about how I went at the North Queensland Blue Water Invitational up in Townsville. If you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you'll you already know how I went. Yeah, sit back, enjoy. Um, I'll talk a little bit about like gun setup and stuff like that. I'm no expert on any of this and I did have some stuff work, not quite as what I thought it would. I met up with Richie Friday morning. We headed through to Airlie, picked up Ben and then kept driving through to Townsville. We fueled up as soon as we got to Townsville, then headed around to Max's place where he'd set up an awesome little camper for us to spend the night. We did a few little last minute jobs, headed down to the sign on and then back to Max's place for an awesome dinner and a good night's rest. We topped up the ice in the morning. Before we knew it, the boat was in the water. We were cruising out past the casino and heading out for day one of the North Queensland Blue Water Invitational. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, hopefully you can hear me with this audio. We're out of Townsville at the moment. Um, today's the first day of the Townsville Blue Water Invitational. Uh, we signed on yesterday, um, got up early this morning and headed out. The guys are in the water now. We got two guys on guns, um, one guy on Burley and Flasher. I don't think they've seen anything yet. Yeah, I've been, I've been out, I've already done a stint in the water, a couple of stints in the water. Seven dives on the first drift. Um, boys saw a good sailfish sitting right behind me. I didn't see it at all. We had the flash in the water, plenty of burly, and the shark life and fish life was just incredible. I couldn't help myself. I had to do a few dives and just head down and just be surrounded by it all. Little did I know, just as I started diving down, a sailfish was swimming directly towards me, but from behind. And basically, the whole time I was down there, I had this sailfish cruising around behind me, and I was just completely oblivious to it. oblivious to it as it turned one way I turned the other way and we just completely missed each other see so yeah, I hopped in for the second dive and I was on the on the gun again Richie was on the flasher and on the burly and we had another sail come through of a sailfish, which is an unreal. Um, ended up second, second shotting it myself. Yeah, landed this amazing fish, absolutely amazing fish. But I have a pretty good feeling that I didn't have the GoPro on because it all happened that quick. I'd not long come up for a dive. I'd only been on the surface for probably, 
a minute and a half, something like that, two minutes maybe. This um, sailfish come rolling through and Max went down to try and get it and he sort of never really had a shot at it. And um, yeah, Richie was screaming at me to go down. Fingers crossed, I got footage. I don't think I did. I think I only turned it on sort of halfway through the fight or even towards the end of the fight. After being towed around for a while, I finally turned the GoPro on, loaded a gun for a second shot, and headed down and put a second shot on my first ever sailfish. The second shot was a stone shot. It was a bittersweet moment for me, watching the sailfish light up as I hit it, and then its colour slowly fade away. Now I'll let the audio from the footage tell the story. Wasn't it? No, you always forget, man. So that was my first species down. I had two more species to get. There was plenty of Spanish getting around, and I started noticing I was sitting just out of visibility. So I was doing a few dives, heading down to the bottom of the flasher. I was doing a little bit of grunting, banging my gun a little bit, just making a bit of noise, seeing if anything would come in. This small Spanish came through, I think it was about 8 or 9 kilos, something like that, not quite 10 kilo. It's cruising through the burley trail, I'm pretty sure it just had eyes for that one little piece of burley. Didn't really notice me, I got a really good holding shot on it. Like I said, I don't have very much blue water hunting experience. But one thing I do know is when you shoot with a breakaway setup, you need to hold onto your gun. Another good tip, once you've collected your gun, you can head up, and if you can get to your floats, clip it onto your floats, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So that was two species down, I needed a third. I saw this nice sized golden trevally swimming around. I got a really good holding shot in it, kind of wrapped around the flasher there. I was worried it was going to keep looping around and sort of get tangled up in the flasher and I didn't want to cause a big mess. So I sort of followed it around the flasher and that's when we found out there was a few hungry sharks hanging around. So I let the shark have that one. And the third fish that I ended up weighing into the comp, I didn't actually get any footage of. It was a little sharky mackerel. The shark didn't leave any of that fish behind. Ben ended up landing, I'm pretty sure, the biggest spinach of the whole comp. He also got this absolutely amazing whale shark footage. I'd not long hopped back in the boat when Ben and Richie got to have this amazing experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, please like and subscribe. 
ring that notification bell and leave a comment down below. If you've got any ideas for future videos or just comments about the video in general. And as for the results, our boat ended up coming second overall. And as for me, I managed to take out the most meritorious fish with that absolutely amazing sailfish. And on top of that, as a bit of a shock to me, I took out the men's champion diver. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.